Hey there folks, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the alternator on all 2010 through 2017 Chevy Equinoxes and GMC terrains with a 2.4 liter 4 cylinder Ecotec engine. So let's go ahead and get you started with the service. So before you start any work on the alternator, make sure that your battery is disconnected. There is a 10 mil bolt right here. Just loosen it off and this will pop off the terminal and you're good to start the service. Just make sure you tuck it away maybe down here make sure that it doesn't make contact with your terminal while you're working all right so we're just going to loosen our gear clamp on the air box right here then we're going to remove our sensor right here and there's two 10 millimeter bolts one here one here we're going to remove those All right, and then now the top portion of our air box will just slide right out. All right, so if we look right down here, that is our alternator right there. And we need to get a wrench, a 3 8 wrench into our tensioner, which is right here. Try and get you a close up right there. There's a 3 8 square hole in the tensioner. We're gonna get a wrench in there off camera just because my hands are gonna get in the way. And I'll show you how to take the tension off. All right, so once you stick the wrench in the tensioner slot that I showed you, we're just going to pull up and you'll see the tension comes off. So we're just going to gently lift the belt off of the alternator, leave it on the rest of the pulleys. Just let it relax down there and you let go just like that all right so we're just going to show you on this new alternator quickly in case i get in the way of the camera here where the position of the bolts are that i'm taking off they're all 13 mil bolts this is the top side and this is your passenger side and this is your driver's side of the vehicle so you have a bolt here here and at the bottom there so we're going to remove those on the old alternator So this one on the very top that I'm removing right now is just a nut. The others are actual bolts. All right, so again, just to give you an idea, the next step after we take off all these bolts here, we're going to remove the wiring harness right here on the back of the alternator. We're gonna pinch it and pop it off. And there is a bolt right here. I believe it's a 12 mil, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're going to remove that and get the main wire off. All right, so the wiring harness is just right down there. So we're just going to pop it out real quick. So you just pinch it. Give it a wiggle and it'll pop out. All right, and right here where we took just the nut off, it wasn't an actual bolt. There's a stud still there. It takes a five mil socket and that'll pop out. So we can tilt our alternator out of position without messing with any AC lines. All right, now comes the stud. All right, so I apologize for all the off-camera work here, but I have to do some of the work off-camera due to getting my arms in the way. It's a very tight space. That is the cable right there that we're taking off. That goes, as you saw on the new alternator right there, it's just facing down towards the bottom and then you're good to go 
take the alternator out. All right, so all I did to get that cable off, once you get all the stud out and everything, you can just kind of pivot it this way and then the bolt will be just right at the bottom there and you just remove it all the way and take the cable off once the cable is out your alternator will come right out just like that all right so here is the brand new alternator and it was sent to me by a company called Days Your Auto. And I wanna give them a huge thanks for sending me this to demonstrate the install for you guys. Their link for their website will be in the description below where you can buy products from them. And I'm going to be getting a discount code. I will put that in the description as well once I set that up. So all we're gonna do is drop this in the same way we took the old one out. So your two bolt side is on the top, one bolt on the bottom. So it'll come with a new bolt for the wire, just take that off. We're going to attach that wire first, make things a little bit easier. All right, so if you see how I have this thing positioned, have it just kind of tilted, not actually into position. So if you look right down here, that is the bolt that we're just tightening off camera there. There's a rubber insulator right beside it. It's best if you get that cable just attached first before you line anything up. So you're not trying to reach around afterwards. It's a little bit easier that way. Then we're just going to take the rubber insulator, put it back on. All right, so once you have that cable tightened up, you're just going to position the alternator and get it ready to be tightened into position. And it helps if you start one bolt by hand just to get everything ready. Then we'll get the five mil stud in next. And the nut for the stud can go on. Then, all right, while you're doing the bottom bolt, if you can't seem to get it to thread in, just give your alternator a slight pull till you feel it catch, and then tighten everything up the rest of the way nice and snug. All right, so now that everything's tightened down, we're just going to take our wiring harness and I just wanna make a quick note. It seemed like the position of this clip is a little higher on the new alternator. If that's the case, just peel back a bit of your loom there and we're just going to clip this harness back into place. And you're good to go. Then we're just gonna get the belt back on. All right, so you just get your 3 8 wrench back into the tensioner here. Pull up and your belt should slide over. Just get it under the tensioner there. Let go. Once it's on here, if it's not tight, you've missed a pulley. So just make sure you get every pulley in there and you're good to go get your air box back on. I just gotta show you a couple close-ups here of the alternator and what we took off off camera just so you get a good idea all right so there's your two bolts there one nut with the five mil stud right there 13 mil bolt is there the other one we took off at the bottom right there then if we go over here we have the wiring harness on the back and we have the cable going right there at the bottom all right so now your air box goes back into place then you're going to tighten up your two 10 mil 
bolts there that hold on the air box. Now plug your mass airflow sensor back in and get your battery reconnected. All right, so just make sure your battery terminal is hooked back up. You got your cover back on and then go ahead and start it up. One last thing I always personally forget this, make sure you don't forget to tighten up your hose clamp. It's an easy thing to forget. Make sure it's nice and snug before you start it up. All right, folks, so that's all there really is to this one. Make sure, uh, one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of the service is if your battery is dead at the beginning of the service, maybe hook it up to a trickle charger to get it charging, get it juiced up while you're changing your alternator. Then once you let it idle, let it idle for a little while, make sure the alternator is charging and clicking in as it should. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe and check out Dazer Auto, their website in the description below for all sorts of products and have a great day.